a two-minute civics lesson, courtesy of Borough President James Otto. Today's topic, Community Boards. There are various ways to make your voice heard in the community. One somewhat popular way is to leave an anonymous comment under a local news story, a method that may bring momentary satisfaction, but which has little or no impact on policy or decision making. A far more serious and responsible method is to attend meetings of your local community board. Staten Island has three, corresponding roughly to the North Shore, the Mid Island, and the South Shore. Community boards have an important advisory role in zoning and land use and are consulted on the placement of municipal facilities in the community as well. They make recommendations as part of the city's budget process and they assess the needs of their own neighborhoods. In short, if an issue affects part or all of your community, anything from a traffic problem to trash dumping to overdevelopment, it is a proper concern for the community board. Although community boards lack the power to order any city agency to perform specific tasks, they are often very successful in using their bully pulpit to get things done. And anyone can simply walk in and attend a community board meeting. Full board meetings occur once a month and are open to the public. At these meetings, members address items of concern to the community and hear from attendees. If you've never been involved before but would like to be, Start by simply attending meetings and listening to the issues that are discussed. Get yourself on your local community board's mailing list so that you'll receive their monthly meeting schedule. Although the entire board meets once near the end of each month, various specialized committees meet during the month to discuss more particular issues in depth. As you become more comfortable and engaged, you may want to consider applying for a spot on your local board. Appointments are made by the borough president for a term of two years. Half of those appointments are recommendations from the three city council members. You can find an application to join your local community board at statenislandusa.com under the resources tab. Please understand that there may not be openings at the time you apply, but again, that does not mean you cannot attend as a non-member, nor does it mean you cannot express your opinion. As has been said many times before, your influence counts. Use it.